This is cool. Check it out. How are you going to start adding carbon chains to benzene? That's a benzene. It's aromatic. It's kind of stable. It's a flat molecule. The electrons are delocalized. How in the world are you just going to add a carbon chain to that? Now the answer is Friedel Crafts alkylation, where you have an alkyl halide, see, alkane, with a halogen attached to it, and you're going to use aluminum chloride as a catalyst. Here's what happens. The aluminum chloride combined with this molecule here, the aluminum chloride steals the chlorine away, it actually ends up making AlCl4 minus, but notice this chlorine's no longer there. You end up with CH, you got your CH3 on this side, you got your CH3 on this side, and you're left with a positive charge there. You stole away the negative chlorine, you're left with a positive charge. Because the carbon now has a positive charge, you can do an electrophilic substitution. Here's what I mean. Electrons from the benzene ring attack and form a bond. Once that bond's made, the hydrogen that was attached to the benzene ring gives up its electrons to reform the double bond and the hydrogen goes off and does whatever it wants later. I think the H recombines with the Cl, the, the AlCl3 stole, and that's why it's a catalyst, but uh, don't quote me on that. Long story short, you end up with the benzene ring, you have this bit added, the CH with two CH3s attached to it, and you remember you broke that double bond to make the bond to the CH. But luckily the H was willing to re-donate the electrons and you reform your benzene ring and you're good to go. It's so easy to do because like to predict the products because all you really have to do is cut off the CL from your alkyl halide and then just attach that to the benzene ring. It doesn't even matter which one it goes on. It's the easiest thing in the world. It's awesome. Now, the problem is it's not really good for straight chain alkanes. Here, notice it was branched. You had some CH3s attached to it. It's really, it really just doesn't work for straight chains. And that's because, as I told you, the first step is the CL gets stolen away and you end up with a positive charge on that carbon. But more substituted carbocations are more stable. And this carbon is only attached to one other. This carbon is attached to two others. This carbocation actually rearranges itself. Let me be specific here. This is a primary carbocation because the carbon that is the cation, has the positive charge, is only attached to one other carbon. That's what makes it primary. Sometimes we call that first degree. A more stable one would be, whoop, if one of the hydrogens from the CH2 moves over, attaches itself here. This is now CH3 and this is now CH1. This is a secondary carbocation because the carbon that is a cation has two carbons attached to it. I get that that's weird, but long story short, this is more stable and the carbon-hydrogen bonds are kind of mobile. It's called a hydride shift. Just accept it, it happens. This is the more stable one, and so this is what the benzene attacks when you do the electrophilic substitution. So rather than it being like the product being a benzene ring with a CH2, 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 CH3 attached to it, you end up with the CH, the CH3, 
and then a CH2, CH3 coming out the other side. See how it's more substituted? It doesn't want the straight chain. Yeah, you're just going to have to deal with the fact that that's the way it is. And you can't use Friedel Crafts uh, alkylation when you want a, a long straight chain attached to the benzene. You're going to have to use something called Friedel Crafts acylation, which I'll do another video about some other day. Good luck.